This video will describe the assembly and mounting of the Arclight Dynamics plate marker. Your first step is to take the valve mount assembly and place it on the lower right leg of your plasma cutter using the provided 5 16 carriage bolts. Once this is completed, you will take the plug that comes from the valve mount assembly and feed it through the back of your control cabinet and it will plug into the underside of your control cabinet. This is the control cabinet removed to better show you the plug you need to get it into. It's the B plug. Next you will run two air lines. One will run up to the oiler. Now you will probably need to mount this oiler in place on the back support for the cable chain. Simply drill two holes and use the provided bolts to mount. A couple inches in from the left side of the gantry as you see here. The second line goes all the way through and give yourself about an extra foot or so at the end. So you have two regulators on the valve control, one for the engraver and one for the slide. So these regulators feed to two solenoids. The top solenoid controls the engraver and that fits, gets connected to the line that goes to the oiler and the second one controls the slide. These are press fit connections. They just press firmly in place. So you're going to want to remember to always keep your oiler filled. It's essential for operation of the engraver. Otherwise the, oper the engraver will freeze up and it won't work properly. The next step is to mount the actual engraver head. To do this you're going to remove the two bolts on the right side of the z-axis carriage. Now once these are removed the slide block will be free to fall out so you just might want to be careful. It doesn't fall off. So you place your two bolts in the center, the two center holes on the engraver mount and this will match back up with the existing holes slide them back in place through the front plate and through the slide block and then lightly place the nuts in position on the back side. Now once it is done it's going to be best for you to take two wood clamps and then clamp on either side of the slide blocks on the z-axis allowing for a nice tight fit pulling both of the blocks together. Once this is held in place you'll then tighten down the bolts and also ensure that the actual slide for the engraver is vertical. Now the next step will be to feed the line on the end of the pneumatic plate marker through the cable chain and use a short section of tubing to connect it to the oiler. And then you'll zip tie everything in place. Once that's completed, you'll attach the air hose to the slide. This completes the installation and assembly of the Arclight Dynamics plate marker. 